The Nigerian military has again expressed regrets over the drone attack that killed and injured many people at Tudumbiri village in Kaduna State. Director of Defense Media Operations Major General Edward Buba said they had learned from the unfortunate experience and also assured that the Nigerian military would continue to conduct its operations in consistency with international laws and rules of engagement. While dismissing the insinuation that lack of inter-service synergy could have led to the mishap, he said that military operations were being conducted nationwide jointly with the Army, Navy, and Air, and Air Force. And meanwhile, the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tarid Lakbacha, says the Nigerian Army will continue to be responsible and responsive in its engagement with the society. He stressed the such commitment and the ongoing end-of-year exercises and operations have strengthened its objective to combat in piracy, oil theft, banditry, kidnapping, terrorism, insurgency, secessionist agitation and others. He made this known at the closing press briefing exercise, clean sweep, declaring Ikeja cantonment free of exploded ordinances. Plus, TV News correspondent has more. This historical feat has certified Ikeja cantonment safe and free of all the unexploded ordinances following the one explosion that happened 21 years ago. The closing ceremony which took place at the offices of life within Ikeja cantonment had the chief of Amistad, General Tarik Lakhman, in attendance as well as multiple members of other security agencies. The Chief of Army Staff was ably represented by the Commander Engineer Corps Major General Philip Ewemosele, who said the Nigerian Army would continue to be responsible and responsive in its engagement with the society and those other invaluable addition. As the skin sweep witnessed the deployment of some of the most sophisticated explosive order disposal technologies and techniques available today in the market. These include ground penetrating radar detection systems, drone propagated chemical clearance of vegetation, as well as remote controlled explosive order disposal robots. Additionally, the best Nigerian Army personnel in explosive ordnance disposal and ammunition technical experts from Nigerian Army engineers and Nigerian Army ordnance corps were employed. The efficient mobilization of this men and equipment resulted in a timely search, recovery, and disposal of 2,055 unexploded ordnance of various calibers from the contaminated sites. The blast epicenter, measuring over 155,000 square meters, is now safe and secure for immediate productive development. Earlier, Colonel Kazim Abdul Razak, the coordinator of exercise clean sweep, who doubles as the acting director, director of explosives search and disposal, and when army engineers informed that during the period, the Korean operation lasted, not a single motor was deliberately or accidentally detonated at the Korean site. By working in collaboration with other stakeholders, we are not only ensure the safety of our citizens, but also foster synergy among various security agencies, very much in line with the Chief of Army Staff Command philosophy. In adherence to international best practices as well as quality assurance, the site was double checked by the Nigerian Police Force Explosive Ordnance Disposal and Chemical, Biological, Radiological, and Nuclear Units. They were meticulously inspected an area of about 155,000 square meters and certified the site clear, having found any item of USO during the search. I'm happy to therefore announce that the site of the 2002 explosion is now clear of any form of an exploded ordnance 
and the way to be the annual program to the annual process in future development. We witness, I witnessed it during the three months uh, program and the coming to inspect. So I'm also pleased that my, my area is secure now. So it's secure. Clear from any hazard, any identified hazard or potential hazard. You know, one of the common uh, characteristics of a no-go area is that some certain hazard has been identified. Of course, the area will now have a clean certificate of safety. The chief of army staff was presented a certificate by the commander of the Major Police Explosive Ordnance Department, DSP, and Rodeo Jude, who represented the Commissioner of Police in the United States Command while declaring Operation Clean Sweep closed. Also, across the African and multiple media organizations were given awards of excellence for being part of the historical process. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.